Today I'm continuing my series on rock facing and shaping stones number nine. Now we're going to talk about the scallop chisel or a tooth chisel or a machine finish or a six point and I picked this building out. It's a school in Scranton for a reason. So let's go. I'm going to show you why I picked this building out. Over here we see 1944. We come over here we see 1963. Now I was born in the early 50s and I remember them doing this kind of work. I want to pass it on and I want to show you what's going on. This is what you call a scallop finish, a six point finish, uh, you could call it a machine finish and I'm going to show you how I did. they did this. I did a little example in my last video but uh, we're going to take some pictures and then we're going to look at how they did this. We're looking at this pier with a scallop finish and I'm going to take a little close-up of this but I was actually in the shop when they were remaking this pier and we're going to show you how they did it. So we're going to walk up to it and this is what they call the scallop finish. Okay so we're going to actually go and we're going to talk to the guy who was instrumental in making this pier and then we're going to go look at the cap. Hi. We're talking about a finish now uh, that's used a lot in building. And uh, what is, it's a, I think it's called, I can't exactly remember what it's called, but uh, it's, a, it's made with a, a tool that's scalloped like this. And uh, there's about six scallops to the inch on this particular tool. So it'd be like a six cut texture. And uh, this, is, this was done on a planer. And I think that there is some videos about a planer through Mike Haddock. Uh, but right now we're just using hand tools to create this finish. We want to see, show you how we do it with a hand tool. So that's how that's done. Uh, usually if you have a big surface, it's done with a planer. I was also down the shop when we were making these stone caps and I got the video out called Limestone Caps, Carving and Planing. So I'm going to leave the end of the video go as they were making this cap and then at the end we're going to talk about that book, uh, Modern Practical Masonry and I want to say some things about that.
So we talked about the scallop chisel. This is a, a tooth chisel, which is not made for that. If you're going to really get into this, you got to go to a machine shop and have them make the tools like Wayne had. It'll work in a pinch if you're trying to, you know, uh, trying to copy something, you might get away with it. I want to end the video with this. When I went to uh, the Cathedral of St. John's out in New York City, which is an unfinished cathedral, this is the book they would use. It's called The Modern Practical Masonry. And it shows you how you would be forming a lot of these stones. And it shows you how the way they built it. when the, It was uh, 1929 they made this book. So I'm going to leave you with that. Thanks for watching. I'm Mike Haddock. Until we do the next video. Now if you want to look at the book online, I went right there to the Haiti Trust Digital Library. And I went right down here. Right there. Full view. And I pressed that there button. And there's the book right there. Modern Practical Masonry. E.G. Warland. You can look at the whole book online. So that's the book. And then... It was written in 1929, so uh, we're just going to run through it real quick here. Uh, you can look it up for yourself, but you can see how the tools they used. A lot of stuff that I didn't copy. The machinery they're using, just like they do down at Tomasetti. So it's a real interesting book. Uh, you don't have to buy it online. You can get it off the internet just like this now. See it shows you the arches, steps I guess, all the fancy stuff and more towards the back of the book they're getting into the geometry and how they do all the fancy stuff. So now there's also another book called Practical Masonry by William R. Purchase. It's on the same site, and uh, it has a lot of uh, information. We'll just look at this real quick so you can get an idea. Because if you ever have to build something that's, uh, you know, high fidelity, see the arches in there, or highfalutin, as I call it, and, uh, man, this is a great place to start, no matter what kind of masonry you're doing. So I want to turn you on to those two books. See the stairways uh, and how to do it. So I want to turn you on to those two books. And uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.